Explaining Group 1 Reactivity by kscience.com To explain Group 1 reactivity, we first need to think about how the size of the atoms changes as you go down the group. Here I'm drawing lithium, which is in period 2 and group 1. Therefore, it has two shells where it has one electron in the outer shell. After lithium comes sodium. Sodium is in period 3 and group 1. Therefore, it has three shells with one electron in its outermost shell. After sodium comes potassium. Potassium is in period 4 and group 1. Therefore, potassium will have four shells and one electron in its outer shell. From the diagrams, you can see that the size of the atoms increase as you go down the group. Here I'm drawing blue lines to show the distance between the positive protons in the nucleus and the outermost electrons, which are negative. It's very clear that the distance increases as you go down the group. These diagrams will now explain how the distance affects reactivity as you go down the group. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This represents the positive nucleus of a lithium atom, and this black line represents the outer shell. And these blue lines represent the electrostatic force of attraction between the protons in the nucleus and the electron in the outer shell. The electrostatic force of attraction is the strongest in lithium because the electron is closest to the positive nucleus. This strong force of attraction makes it hardest to lose this electron. Therefore, lithium is the least reactive. Sodium is a bigger atom than lithium, but here we're still drawing the outermost shell only. As the distance increases, there is a weaker force of attraction. This makes it easier to lose the outer electron. Therefore, sodium is more reactive than lithium. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Here I'm drawing potassium, which is the biggest atom of the three. Compared to lithium and sodium, there's an even bigger distance, resulting in a weaker force of attraction. This makes it even easier to lose the outermost electron. Potassium is even more reactive. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.